Hey guys, I just want to make a quick unboxing of the Arma Creighton 8S. I know there's probably a ton of reviews and unboxings already, but this is the newest version. I guess you would consider it version either version 3 or version 1.75. I'll explain that in a second, but uh, first noticeable difference from the two predecessors would be the box itself. Uh, all right, so first things first, uh, this side of the box shows, now shows the uh, top bracing here as two pieces and not just one. You can see they connect to this center post here, this center brace. Uh, that's the first noticeable difference. You can also slightly see the brace right here. Um, you know, there's, there's a screw, the brace is here, cross brace at the rear. So the two previous versions did not show this. Here's the other side. And this is another indication of the, this is, I'm gonna just call it this the third iteration. Um, again, it shows the new remote. Other than that, it's, it's really just updated pictures. That's how you know it's the newest version. And coming along to this side, you see again, once again, you see the bottom brace here in the picture now. The, uh, the posts here that split, it's not a single. So you can clearly tell that this is the newer version, but this isn't version 1.5 or 2, however you describe it. This is newer than that even, and I'll explain. All right, guys, I have the top off here. Um, I'm not going to go any further than this, as you can tell, it is brand new, but, uh, I don't think there's a point of getting it out. You guys know the new remote. You guys have seen it probably in other videos. Uh, body hasn't changed. Uh, nothing here has changed. The servo, everything is pretty much 1.5. The only thing that makes it a 175 is right here. And I noticed this in the manual believe it or not, out of all things. So I know no one reads these, but I was going through and at, on page 28, the diff maintenance, I will show you. This is how you know it's the most modern version. Version three is right there. So center diff maintenance uh, and it says 20 mil. So that means there's 20 mil currently in there. It obviously, this is the maintenance, so it tells you to refill it with 20 mil, but it has 20 mil in there. And the reason I know this is because I'll, I'll show a slide, but the two previous versions manuals, this said one mil, it didn't say 20 mil. Um, the front and rear diffs are still 100 thou, so the, those are stock, but this is how you know it's the newest, newest version. Version, I'm gonna call it 1.3 or sorry, 1.75 or three, however you want to call it. And it's all because of this. This is brand new. Uh, I will cut in some footage and show you the two previous models, their manuals. So this is the previous versions manuals, both of the same. So I'm not going to show two slides, but you'll see right here, bottom left. There you go. Um, yeah. So if you're, you guys are out there thinking of buying a Creighton, 8s just make sure that the box the, the only this is really the only way to tell is if this box has the new updated pictures on it because version 1.5 like the updated version but not this version um, and the original version all have the standard first gen first version um, pictures on it so you won't see the you'll see just the single brace right this the long tube right across you won't see the new remote uh, you won't see this remote. You'll see the DX2, not the DX3. Um, so if you see these pictures, you will be getting the newest version. If not, I would probably avoid it because, you know, the time and effort it's going to save me to do the 20 mil diff conversion because you're pretty much going to have to do it. It's a game changer. You know, you, you get the better servo in this one. Um, it's exactly the same. I looked in the manual. Uh, it's on, I believe, this page here. Uh, the right here so here everything is the same in all three manuals 
but I can splice in some footage of another video and you can see the difference in the speed of this servo compared to the last servo even though they're exactly the same look the same badge the same I'm not sure if they put more voltage through changed gearings in the servo box they did something but it's different <laughs> Just lazy. The speed shows it's com it, it was really really slow in the first gen, very laggy, um, and now this is much improved. So you definitely want to get this one. Again, you get the tower to tower brace. Uh, the rear, the rear brace, I, I don't know what you call that, but the rear brace, the, those updated servo, faster servo. I believe something might have changed with the tires, but I'm not entirely sure that the remote is a game changer. One thing with this remote though, guys, is that Bluetooth module that plugs into there doesn't actually exist. Um, it's, I believe it's called a SPM 2000 GT something like that but anyways it doesn't exist it literally does not exist I've, I've messaged Horizon Hobby about this and I haven't got a response yet but uh, the only downside of this remote is if you do want that Bluetooth module to use with the uh, you know the dat the spectrum dashboard it just doesn't exist unfortunately so we got to wait for that Bluetooth module still it just it's literally not there uh if you don't believe me just google it like i said it's called like spm 2000 something i don't know 2000 t or something but read your manual guys because honestly that 20 mil diff diff weight change uh, i would have never noticed that i i you know i would have opened mine up and go to change it and then realize oh it's already got 20 mil and that would have you know would have been really annoying um the updated one also has the 8S stickers, not the 4S. But yeah, that, that literally the only update is the 20 mil diff fluid, but it's a big one to me personally. Uh, Arma listens to us, so thanks Arma. Good job with that. Appreciate it, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks.